CME Group launched Micro E-Mini Futures Contracts. Discover how a smaller Micro E-Mini Futures Contract opens the world to greater trading possibilities. Welcome to Striking an Option, the show that reveals the options you have to better navigate markets. I'm Jeff Kilberg and I'm joined today by Scott Bauer. Hey there, Scott. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great. Well, it's interesting to see the volatility. It's come back into the market. Last Thursday, we saw that tweet out of President Trump. All of a sudden, we've seen an escalation in the U.S. trade sanction tariff conversation. And now, well, here we are. After a 3% drop this week, we're back above 2,900 in the S&P 500. What's your takeaway? Well, the takeaway is if you're able to remove some of the, the geopolitical risks and the tweets and some of that rhetoric, earnings have been pretty good. Earnings have been good and we've kind of been forgotten about, but this emotion in the market seems to be front and center, correct? Absolutely, no question. All right, let's move into this first lightning round. You ready? All right, let's do it. Geopolitical tensions. Well, you just talked about it. It's so interesting to see the price of crude oil, that action. Just in the month of August, we saw a 13% drop, test of $50. Now, where are we going, Scott? Well, from here, it's, you know, it's really anyone's guess. But however, with that big drop you were talking about, about 13% here, I'm looking for a move back higher. And what I would like to do is by the week three, which expires on August 16th, the 55.57 call spread. And this spread will cost an investor about $160, Jeff. This makes a lot of sense. The October crude oil future was the underlying trade in about 52.16 when this trade example was priced out. Then the at the money volatility, way up at 37.16. But this is a short term expression. So as yep. we see the market, maybe it snaps back, back above that 55, but it has been interesting to see just a lot of volatility in the crude oil patch. And, and that's why I'm looking for a quicker move back than normal because of that volatility we've seen. Great stuff, Scott. And please remember, these are trade examples, not trade recommendations. Let's move into the second lightning round. All right. Gold glitters. Well, Unbelievable to see the price of gold vault above $1,500. We've seen a lot of safe haven trades really light up this week. No doubt about it. And, and I love the word vault there. And it's been just off to the races. However, maybe it's going to come to a time here where it just has to settle in a little bit. Yeah, as you're seeing Treasury yields back off a little bit because there's been a lot of buying in Treasuries, as we've seen a lot of buying in gold. I want to be a seller. My trade example is to be selling the week three 1525, 1550 call spread. Pretty tight level there, but at the end of the day, I don't think we see a sustained amount of time above 1500. This will allow an investor to potentially collect about $450, Scott. In the October futures was that underlying contract. And no doubt about it, that it is very short time frame, but volatility is pretty expensive there. The at the money vol was almost 20% making this sale of a call spread that much more expensive because of the premium added into it. And you may scrutinize the fact that, yes, the October futures for this trade example is trading around 1502. And why is that strike so tight at 1525? But that's how you get a little more premium out of selling a call spread, Scott. Absolutely. It's a little bit closer to being at the money. All right. Well, thanks, as always, for coming on to Striking Options. And please tune in every week as we will continue to Strike Options.